Now, I've been walking around the outside of this building, the bits that I'm allowed to anyway, to try and find the, the, the tastiest highlight. And I think I've found it here, right at the corner. And I'm 45 degrees out and just by pointing upwards and really focusing on the corners of this building, what I've found is that there are these wonderful kind of chevrons, I guess, and these crosses and they're pointing up towards this apex at the top. Now, we've got a lot of light, a lot of shade, and of course we've got this beautiful blue sky, but the overall direction aided by these lines at either side that are most visible the side the sun's coming in on is upwards towards the point and that is a bit of this building i'm going to try and expose to my viewers so grid lines on because really we want to try and make this as as geometric as possible so just use the grid lines just look at where the vertical lines intersect your grid lines and just see if you can get it as level as possible that's not too bad so let's get a couple of those Experiment just by adding a little bit more. I guess I call that headroom at this point. I don't really want to chop that off. That might look a little bit weird. Now I can see my camera is hunting for focus. So what I'm going to do is just tap and hold. Make sure that the center is true. And the other thing I'm going to do is just drag down the exposure a little bit. That's going to make it a bit more contrasty. What that's done is, is it helped the sky to go nice and blue. So, let me just try, let me just try an angle on that. So I'm using this, this vertical line and I'm lining it up with a left. This is quite an unconventional angle, but I kind of like it. So the apex is now in the top left hand corner. And providing I can get that nice and straight, let's just double check and refocus. And again, just bring Bring the exposure down a little bit. There we go. Just to add a bit of contrast to the image. Really helps that sky turn blue. And there we have another take on the highlight of this building. Not sure if that's going to work or not, but how about we take a look? This is very much the kind of image I was looking to capture when I framed up here. My criticisms, if I have them here, are that it's not quite true on the vertical. It's not far off. And also, it looks a bit milky to me. I think that the phone hasn't necessarily got the exposure quite as I, as I wish. I wanted to create a little bit more drama in this building. So while it's, while it's good, I think I can do a little bit better. This shot has the drama that I anticipated just by pulling down that exposure manually. I've made these blacks even blacker and the lights just, uh, just contrast with them nicely. It's also a little bit truer on the vertical there and again, my eye line goes straight up to the top centre. The other thing also is that this negative space, the, the blue inverted chevron there I think is really clean, barely any clouds there making this uh, a really nice clean shot. This is what happens when you throw that sense of vertical out of the window, when you go for this jaunty angle instead. As you can see, I've lined up the corner of the building with the left-hand side of the frame, and I think it's had a really pleasing effect. As I anticipated, my eye line is drawn from the bottom right all the way up to the top left, and you know, it's like arrows shooting through. It's got an energy to it. It's got a sense of the, of the quirkiness. It's, does have a, a few clouds in the corners that maybe I could do without, but my eyes don't mind. This is the kind of image that I think would make the viewer want to find out more about this building, and that's exactly what I set out to do.